Hello and welcome to Link Wizard version 2 training. Now in this training, I'm going to show you about the other cool feature that we have added. So for that, I would log into my Link Wizard. And since this is completely new, I am going to take you through the social profile link training today on this video. You see out here, my social profile is zero because I'm not aware of it. I don't have any social profile, so I need to create one. I'm going to go to the create drop down and click on social profile. Once I do that, it takes me to this particular page. It says supercharge your Instagram profile link, build your custom profile with multiple links, messenger analytics, Facebook integration, and more in just minutes. So I'm going to show you how this works. It just says supercharge your Instagram profile link. However, you can go ahead and you can supercharge any of your social profile link. So I'm going to click on next out here. Then the second page out here, it says stay connected with your audience. Now by letting them chat or simply call you by Skype, WhatsApp, Viber, or even WeChat, you can just stay connected with all your audience. We go ahead and we click on the next button out here. It says send followers anywhere, pop articles, affiliate links, events, website, hot videos, articles, merch store, discounts, anything that you want on your social profile would work. Click on next and then it takes you to add a whole bunch of your social links, Patreon, Pinterest, Snapchat, LinkedIn, etc. Now out here, you see there were a few contents written out here. Those are the links that you can add. And once any of your customers, your leads, your clients click on those links, they would just be redirected to that particular link that you add out here. Then we click on next button out here. The most important step, just add your link visit link to your Instagram bio, then it will be visible for all your visitors. Or you can put it in any of your social profile, any of your social profile link, any of your social media. It's just going to go ahead and you know be visible for all your visitors. Let's create mine. Remember, when you create your social profile link, the link is going to be something similar to this link that has just popped out with the background color blue. It says HTTPS and you know colon backslash inkw.co slash john so it's going to be something similar to this let's see how this works we'll go ahead and create mine once i create on that it says create your social profile link and your bio link allies choose a domain now in case you have any custom domain all would be coming under this particular drop down since i am creating a new one this is the default domain. I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to put test out here, test one, two. I'm going to put test one, two. It has accepted. Page title, I'm going to put work for me as my page title. And if I go ahead and click on let's create mine, it would not create. Oops. Why would it not create? Because I did not select either of these templates. Now these are the three templates that has been given to me as option. So it says out here, please make sure your request matches all the following condition. So you would need to go ahead and click on either of the template. I'll go with the first one and then I'll say, let's create mine. Once I go ahead and do that, I have to select a messenger user name. So my messenger or you can you have options out here you can go ahead and you can select any of these if i select on whatsapp i would need to add my whatsapp number with country code so i'm going to add my whatsapp number i can add multiple social profile out here if if you know if i want to go ahead and add my email i'm just going to go ahead and put my email address out here okay and then links the links that you want it to appear out here 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy paste. I'm going to paste it here because I want this ad. Link title. If I click on this particular link, you know, this is the link title I would want people to have a look at. So I'm going to go ahead and paste the link title out here. I have option. I can click on the plus sign and I want to put the second link out here. So my second link out here. And then this would be my title that I would want people to have a look at. Great. While I was creating these, if you've noticed, you see this has been added out here just below my WhatsApp and email that I have mentioned. Now I can go ahead and get this connected to my social networks. Now, if I want to go ahead and add LinkedIn out here, I just need to put my LinkedIn ID. This is my LinkedIn ID, just gonna put that. I can directly go ahead and copy this link from here. If not, I would just need to click on next. And you see, you know, follow us, it says, and the icon will be here for your social profile. Since I have selected LinkedIn, LinkedIn would show. I can go ahead and I can add something else out here. Like for example, I will go ahead and add YouTube. So I would need to have my YouTube channel put there. Go ahead and search for John Bond, who is our CEO. I'm going to add his channel because I don't have one. So yours, John's channel. I'm going to go ahead and put this. And again, I, you see the moment I was changing out here, I put YouTube and LinkedIn. So it's captured your followers. Once they click on this, it's going to take them directly to that. So what I'm going to do next is I can copy the link from your, if not, I can click on next. Once I click on next, it takes me to this particular page where I would, you know, I can go ahead and add choose of profile picture. So I'm going to go ahead and add a random profile pic. I'm going to go ahead and put this logo as my profile pic. If you have your company's logo and if you want your company's logo as your profile pic, you can go ahead and put that so that it's more visible to your customers. Now, once I have done that, it says your bio link allies. You can change it or you can leave it to that. So I'm going to leave it to test one, two. My page title was work for me. Add tracking pixel. In case you have any tracking pixel on your Facebook or any of your social media, social profile, you can go ahead and add that. Button shape. These are the buttons. You can anytime go ahead and change the button shape. If you want, you can change it to this. If you do not want it auto fill, you can just leave it or let the button be full so that the alphabets, you know, it's visible whatever you write in the button, it's visible once you have a background color, once you have the button filled. So I have chosen this template. If I want, I can go ahead and change the template. It's going to be shown like this. So I like the first template. I'll go with the first template. I will go ahead and click on save. Once I click on save, you see one social profile because I just created one social profile and it would show me like this. So I will click on that social profile. Here is the link that has been created. Now you know about all these options out here. You can go ahead and you can you know, open the link directly from here. You can copy the link, edit, you can clone it, or you can delete it. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the link. I'm gonna open a new browser, paste the link out here. And this is how my social profile would look like. Now, this is the WhatsApp. Since I had given my WhatsApp, I can directly message on this particular number on WhatsApp. This is my email. Once I click on this email, it would take me to this. I would need to set up. I can send a new mail from here. 
it's very easy. And if I click on these link that was given, it's going to take me to this advertisement that I had mentioned. Now, if I click on the second link, it's going to take me to the second advertisement that I had given. Now, I have given these advert advertisements because I want more and more customers to know about my company. So I will go ahead and put the advertisement for my company for branding purpose. Now, you come down and you see the two icons out here, the social profile icons. If I click on LinkedIn, it's going to take me to my LinkedIn profile. Now, if I go ahead and click on YouTube, it will directly take me to the YouTube channel that I have and I have mentioned out there. Okay, now I'm gonna come back to this particular page and refresh it. So once I refresh this, you see the total number of click change. It was zero. Now, because I clicked on those links, it shows one click on WhatsApp, one click for the email, one in LinkedIn, one in YouTube, and the total number of click. Because it was connected, it shows two clicks. Now, when I come here, the total clicks would be one because I was the only person who was using this and I did not use any other browser for that. Then the browser status would show Chrome referring channel drug traffic because I was, the, I was the person who was using this link from the same IP platform. It would show the operating system and redirect it. Since I haven't blocked anything, this is the redirection. Now, out here, if I come, if I see there is, I haven't blocked any of the countries. So anyone can have access and out here, there is no details because I did not block anyone. This is the redirected logs. If I come to the redirected logs, I can see this. There was one click from India. At this particular time, the IP address, the city, country, the browser that was used, platform, referring channel, query string, redirected. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and I can try logging in from a different browser. If I put that, you see the same way it works. Now I would go ahead and I will click on social profile or rather I would refresh the page. The total number of unique clicks is two. It changes out here as well. I come to the social profile. Total clicks was two. WhatsApp remains one because I did not click on WhatsApp or email or LinkedIn. Now, if I go back to this, if I click on WhatsApp, and I just cross this off. If I click on email, I just cross this off. I go back to this link that I had given for the advertisement. I cross it off. The second link for the advertisement, I cross it off. Then I come back to my link wizard platform and I click on this. Now you see, the total click remains. Let me just refresh this for you to understand that better. Once I refresh, the total clicks would show two, total number of clicks two, clicks to date two, and WhatsApp, it was clicked twice, UD clicks, email twice, then one click on LinkedIn because we did not go to LinkedIn, and one click for YouTube because we did not click on YouTube or LinkedIn. Now, if I come here, it shows Chrome. There were two clicks from Chrome and redirected logs. These clicks were from India because I did not click from any other country as I am sitting in India and doing this for you. Now, the best thing out here, you can even search logs. You have these date and time, IP address, city, country, browser, platform, referring channel, query, string, or status. You can search 
for the details from any of these options out here. Now, for example, if I put India out here, it's going to show me number two. So if someone is clicking or someone is using this particular link from any other country, you can always segregate that. You can always search with their particular country or you know the platform that they have used or the city or the IP address or the date and time. You can do that. Now the other thing is once you copy this link and you go to any of your social profile. I'll go with Facebook. I will copy this link out here. It says fetching data. So this data has been fetched. I'm going to post this on my social profile for you to have a better understanding. Now, anyone who comes to your social profile, they just have to click on this particular link and they get redirected to your social profile link. So this is all about social profile link, how it works. I'm going to explain to you about other features in the upcoming videos.